Eisenhower, on a tour of the 1st Canadian Army, arrives at the headquarters of Polish units under Canadian command. Accompanied by the Polish O.C., Major General Maciek and General Quirar, the Supreme Commander of the Western Theater gets first-hand views from his men by questioning them. leader, under whose command so many varied nationalities are welded together into a mighty striking force, is a welcome visitor at a Canadian bridging company. In the scheduled time of 15 minutes, a Bailey bridge is constructed across a Dutch canal. Like a proud father, the Canadian GOC demonstrates all the phases of Canadian army activity to the chief. The infantry and armor of a division which gave such a good account of itself at Cannes, the Valais Gap, and the drive to Antwerp are inspected in detail. The terrible weapons of offense, the flame-throwing carriers give a fiery illustration of the way they carried the Albert Canal and other tough objectives. On the eve of the final great assault on strongholds of the Reich, General Eisenhower is confident of complete cooperation from the left of the line, the 1st Canadian Army.